Hey guys, Anthony here. In this overview video, I'll give you a demo and walkthrough on videos, a robust cloud-based video animation software with which you can create studio quality videos using professionally designed pre-made video templates. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch this video's review video. So I'm logged into videos. When you first log into your account, you'll see a similar homepage. We'll see all the latest video templates displayed. What you see in this account may not be exactly what you see in your account because it will depend on the type of videos license you have. Up top you'll find some useful links. If you click on learn, you'll find helpful tutorials to help you get started. Under favorites, you'll find all the templates that you mark as favorites. And I'll show you this in a moment. In the account section, you'll see several options to update your profile, payment methods, and notifications. And in the My Videos section, is where you'll find all your rendered videos. Finally, in the Help section, the top right corner, is where you can contact video support. And down below, you'll find answers to some frequently asked questions. Let me scroll back up. If you click on the video's logo in the top left corner, it'll bring you back to the home page. In this section here is where you can filter and search different templates. For example, if I use the category drop down menu, you'll see various categories of templates to explore. You can use this filter drop down menu to filter templates for specific duration, customization options, and ratings. You can also use the sort drop down menu to sort templates by several presets, as you can see. Finally, you can use the search box. To look for specific templates based on keywords. For example, I can type Aperture and it'll list down the templates accordingly. You can hover your mouse over a specific template to see a quick preview, like so. Down below on each template, it displays some information about the template, like the number of images, titles, and audio. You can click this heart icon to favorite a specific template. And finally, you can click the Customize button to use a particular template. Doing so will open this page, providing you details about the template. In this main section, you'll see the preview. And on the right, you'll see the duration and customization options. If you click on the Customize button, it will open the editor. What you see here will depend on the type of template you choose. Generally, you'll see tabs at the top. Here it will provide you details on the accepted file type and size. Click on Browse Images to upload your image. Choose your image. Click Open. And then click Next Step. In this next step, you can enter text. I'll type ajgudino.com. And then click Next Step. In the next step, you can change the colors. I'll leave them as default. Like I mentioned earlier, you may not see this in some templates. Then I'll click Next Step. It'll start processing the live preview. The preview is essentially static frames. Finally, you can click the Create Video button, and it'll start the video rendering process. The time it takes to render the video will depend on the type of template you choose. But if you remain on this page, it will show you the rendering progress. This particular template took about 4 minutes to render. And once the video has rendered, it will automatically give you a prompt to download the video. If you close this page, you can find your rendered videos in the My Videos section, where you can download your video. But that's pretty much it. If you don't yet have videos, check the link in the description section for a special limited time discounted price. Well, hope you found this video's demo helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.